Hello, you beautiful people in YouTube land. I'm Bald Elvis Larry. I have an announcement. Will the young lady in the white convertible with a personalized license plate, hot model, please report to the stage? There's nothing wrong. I just want to give you a hug. Gee, I love hugs so much when I can't find a pretty girl to hug, I'll hug the microphone. I come from a dysfunctional family. But we never heard the words back then in Akron, Ohio. So we mom and dad used to say, kids, as far as anybody else knows, we are a normal family. Then they sent me to school doing this. And mom used to say, kids, before you leave the house, change your socks and underwear. Because you might get in an accident, and when they have to undress you in the hospital, you won't embarrass me. And she used to say, and stop telling everybody you come from a, a broken home just because our ceiling's cracked. I said, but mom, every time it rains, the water falls on my head. She said, yeah, well, aren't you lucky it rains over the bathtub? <laughs> and I told dad, I said, I can notice girls now. Dad, if you point them out to me, he said, there's a blonde, there's a brunette, there's a redhead. I said, what's mommy? He said, I don't know, she hasn't come back from the beauty parlor yet. <laughs> then when she'd come back, I'd try to get a hug or sit on her lap. She said, don't touch me. I just got my hair done. I just set my hair. Dad said, well, yeah, well, when does it go off? And one time our dog got into mom's peach cobbler. His last words were barf, barf. <laughs> Dad said, don't worry, kids, I'll buy you a new dog. So he bought us one of those dachshunds, a long wiener dog, so all his kids could pet him at the same time. <laughs> what a cute little dog. He was a watchdog. He watched somebody burn our garage down. He watched somebody steal our lawnmower. He watched. Yeah, Akron was really something. I remember I was a teacher's pet. I used to bring the teacher an apple, and she gave me a kiss. One day, I brought her a watermelon, and she said, Larry, I think it's time for you to graduate from the sixth grade. <laughs> I was 17. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, being star for love all my life gravitated me towards showbiz. I used to tell the neighbors, what kind of bees give milk? What kind of bees give milk? They said, what kind of bees give milk? I said, boobies. And then one day I wanted to become a rock and roll drummer. So I practiced and practiced, but I got tired of it. So we put a sign in our window, drum set for sale. The neighbors put a sign in their window, hooray. Then when I told the neighbors I was going away to study singing, they said, good, good. How far away? So I just wanted to say, you've been such a beautiful audience, and all around the world, just want to send out good vibrations of peace and love, and say something my grandfather used to tell me after he mixed Viagra with his beans and only got a stiff win. <laughs> Put sugar under your pillow so you'll have sweet dreams. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>